14 years after he first stood in the dock, David Bain was back. He pleaded not guilty to five charges of murdering his family, and the defence outlined its case. The argument will be that David's father, Robin, was responsible, and then he committed suicide. We have two reports. In a moment, Juanita Copeland will tell us about the media's fascination with the case. But first, Jeff Hampton joins us live to tell us what happened in court. Jeff. Well, the Crown plotted its way through a repeat of its own case from 15 years ago, but the defence sparked up, particularly when David Bain pleaded not guilty on five charges of murder. David Cullen Bain, you've been charged on the 20th day of June 1994 at the murder Robin Irving Bain. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. And further, on the 20th day of June 1994, the leader did murder Margaret Arrower Cullen Bain. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Each time he declared his innocence, Bain became more confident. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. It's 15 years since Bain faced murder charges. His pleas are the same, but the look has changed. Bain's accused of shooting his entire family, Father Robin, Mother Margaret, sisters Arua and Laniette, and younger brother Stephen. They were all shot at the family's ramshackle house in Every Street, Dunedin, in June 1994. The Crown claims Bain did it with a .22 calibre semi-automatic rifle he owned. Then he tidied up and tried to pretend his father Robin had murdered the others, then committed suicide. Dunedin Crown solicitor Robin Bates says Bain killed his family after returning early from a paper run then tried to cover up. The unusual behaviour includes an unaccounted for period of about 20 minutes between the time the accused said he came into the house and when he called the police. The Crown case has changed little. It says David killed the family after an argument with his father. The defence is calling the idea absurd. You don't just go and shoot your family for no apparent reason. You've heard Mr Bates this morning, he skates over the motive. The Crown don't like to talk about the motive. What does he say is the motive? I've written down here, he said there was an argument with his father about the chainsaw. Reid says Robin Bain was the real killer and asked the jury to keep an open mind. You're going to receive a lot of evidence that completely contradicts what the Crown has just told you. Robin Bain's motive was fear an incestuous relationship with daughter Laniette was about to be exposed. Laniette, there's evidence is going to be called, of Laniette coming home that night to tell the mother, to tell all about the sexual molestation that she'd been subjected to by her father. The first of 150 witnesses will give evidence Monday. Well, it just took... 20 minutes or so to pick the jury this morning from the pool of 80. They've chosen seven women and five men and they're fairly middle class, middle aged looking people. At this stage they don't have a four person because the law's been changed. You don't have to pick one immediately so they'll probably choose that in a week or so. Um, I'd have to say that the pay's not that good being a juror. You get about $60 a day for the first week and then it rises to $80, although the convention is that employers often top that up. But these guys are in for quite a long haul. Uh, the trial's expected to go for three months. Jeff, thank you. The story of the Bain family murders and the subsequent court cases have captivated the country for 15 years. And while there was only a handful of Bain supporters outside the Christchurch High Court this morning, the media was there in strength. Juanita Copeland was among them. Juanita. Carolyn, although the trial was set down to start for 10 o'clock in the High Court this morning, well before 7 a.m. There were, there were media setting up here at the court, but it wasn't until 9.30 that we finally got the shots we were waiting for. David Bain's arrival at the Christchurch High Court sent the waiting media into a frenzy. In contrast, David Bain remained outwardly calm, smiling and laughing. His demeanour unchanged as his lawyers deflected reporters' questions. Hey, you feeling, David? Thank you. The media had waited hours for Bain's arrival. A handful of his supporters having to run the gauntlet to secure a seat in the High Court's public gallery. I'm here for support to David. Also there, Arthur Allen Thomas, the 71-year-old who was wrongly imprisoned for murder and is now a keen Bain supporter. 
All right, I see justice. Regardless of the outcome, the case has already gone down in legal and media history. Justice Pankhurst has granted permission exclusively to 3news.co.nz to broadcast the entire case on the internet with a 10-minute delay. News bulletins, current affairs programs are very good at providing you with a summary of the day's events, but there are many in the public who would actually like to see it pretty much in its entirety. Paul Norris says the decision shows the court is moving with the times, acknowledging the internet as a major media player. This move will actually put us ahead of many other countries. The online streaming will add even more media attention to a case that will unfold over the next three months. Now that media attention is not expected to let up and now that the public can watch this case unfold minute by minute on the internet, the public's interest is not expected to wane either, even though this case is likely to go for three months, possibly longer. Juanita, thank you. And just before we leave the Bain trial, a couple of points about our coverage on the 3 News website. We're streaming proceedings with a 10-minute delay, but you'll need a high-speed internet connection to see it. And don't expect to see it at night. It will only be there when the court is sitting.